Hello. Welcome to our weekly Facebook Live, our weekly energy healing. If you're live, please say hello so I know that you're here. And yeah, if I don't know you, please introduce yourself. Hi, Didi. Good morning for you. Good evening for me. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Welcome back. So good to see you guys again. It's like I'm forming my tiny tribe. Feels so good. I feel so supported. <laughs> Hi, Marcella. Welcome back. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so if you don't know me, my name is Alessandra Martellini. I'm an intuitive healer and a theta healing practitioner and instructor. Um, if you're new to theta healing, theta healing is a meditational process, it's an energy healing modality that connects us to the energy of creation, to theta, to a theta brainwave, which is a very low meditative state of mind. And so we can access our unconscious mind, so we can transform our limiting beliefs. Yeah, uh, so today we will talk about the fear of being visible. <laughs> yeah, that's a big one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and for those of you that know me, um, you know that nearly two weeks ago I was still very stuck in my shell of invisibility, <laughs> and that's kind of like why I started creating. Um, this Facebook lives I started two weeks ago with a three-day challenge that you can access on my Facebook group if you're not there yet let me sing to the link on the comment the replays are available oh oops I think I sent you the wrong one sorry let me find the group <laughs> yes yeah, so I started um, I started doing these lives and I kind of loved it. I had so much more fun than I expected and yes, I was terrified because that was my biggest fear to be visible on camera and live. Oh my God, <laughs> it was like unthinkable for me. But as usual, the things that scare us the most are the things that are keeping um, our deepest desires you know hi Erin welcome welcome wow you're far I'm in Italy <laughs> okay so that's kind of like how I started doing this Facebook lives and the thing is I've been rehearsing to create an online business for the past five years five years <laughs> so yeah I had this idea I studied to you know get the qualifications that I needed as a healer. I didn't know back then that that's where I would get, but um, hi Sandy, hi Dan, welcome back. But five years ago I embarked on this journey to find my purpose and I had already the idea of creating a, an online business, but I was terrified. <laughs> yeah, so it took me a very long time to actually do it yes so hi princess kaha Ooh, love it Ooh, I, i'm curious to know what it means kaha feels very strong energy nice where are you from um so welcome everybody that's watching live and if you're watching the replay everything that we're gonna do here it's gonna work the same way okay hi roy welcome back hi patricia Hi. Oh, you're live today. Good. That's so nice. Okay. So, where was I? Remind me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I finally got over myself, basically. And I was like, you know what? I need to 
suck it up <laughs> and do it with fear anyway, right? So the thing is, if you are here, I am sure that you also have this idea, this vision for yourself that you know that is going to require you to get out of your shell, to get visible, right? Maybe you also want to do videos. Maybe you want to create a, a YouTube channel, whatever it is. Um, whatever it is, I just want you to know that you're not alone. And if you want to share, actually, I would love to know. What is the big vision, the big desire that is on the other side of this fear of being visible? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. okay, and being visible, it, it has different meanings for different people, right? For me, it was literally being visible <laughs> uh, on a sense of a physical way, like for me being visible on, on, on video, on camera, right? So it was fine for me to do audios, to do things in person, fine. I got over my fear of public speaking, <laughs> sort of, I'm working on that, but <laughs> I could do those things in person, I could teach, but the thought of being recorded, oh my god, oof, no, <laughs> it brought up all of my, my limiting beliefs, all of the ideas that I, I was not good enough, that I was not ready, all the shame. Shame for me was always a very big, big theme, big um, underlying issue for the things that I wanted to create. So everything I wanted to do, it came with like this tainted, you know, idea, this tainted vision because I was so ashamed of everything. I was ashamed to speak. I was ashamed of my body. I was ashamed of my voice. I was ashamed of pretty much everything you can think of. Ava is saying, desire to change the world. Awesome. <laughs> Let me know <clears throat> how, in which way, what do you want to do? How do you want to contribute to change the world? Let me know. Hi, Kay. Welcome. Erin saying, I'll be making some big public steps in 2021, stepping into entrepreneurial life. Nice. The fear is the unknown. Okay. Um, the fear of the unknown is never the fear of the unknown because if you are if you if it is unknown there is nothing to be afraid of so the fear of the unknown is actually the fear of a projection of something from our past into the unknown does make sense so if i say i'm taking this big step and i'm fearing the uncertainty of the unknown, like why? Like what is it connected to? Maybe you're afraid that you're gonna be humiliated or judged because that's the experience that you had before. Does this make sense? Ava is saying by helping people to change their mindset. Amazing, good, you're my my tribe. <laughs> Did he say me too? My marketing guy wants me to make a video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Sandy is saying, I listened to a frequency gift from Archangel Metatron today and it was about letting go of limiting beliefs. Very powerful. Cool. If you want to share the link in the, in the comments, I would love to do it. Cool. Um, yeah, like, this work that I do is about changing limiting beliefs. There's so many ways of doing that, right? Definitely. Uh, by accessing Archangels and Guides, we can also do it. In Theta Healing, we access the energy of creation, God, universal intelligence, however you want to call it, right? Um, did he saying I want to help people realize their financial dreams? Cool. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Amazing. I love that I, I'm attracting so many people that have big dreams. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A while ago, during one of my Theta Healing trainings, I had a, a realization that I am a leader of leaders. No, be, no, no small task there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for sharing, Sandy. Amazing. There you go. We can all do it. <laughs> 
Erin saying one specific, giving people a, a cut out of my life access to knowing. Can you be more? I'm not sure if I understood. You're saying that you've cut off some people out of, out of your life and you want to give them access. Is that like to, to what you're teaching? Is that what you're saying? Sandy saying this was channeled by Melanie Beckler. Oh, I don't know her. I'm going to research. Thank you. Cool. Okay, so as you type in anything else that you want to share, today we're going to do something very cool, actually. Just so you know, <laughs> moment of truth and honesty here. If you know me by now, you know that I'm very honest. <laughs> I have no shame anymore. Barely. Um, Every time I'm preparing for, for those lives, like all of my fears come to surface. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> it's kind of insane. <laughs> so I really, really live uh, my teachings, just so you know. Yeah. So I was like, I spent the whole day wanting to sleep, basically. <laughs> I was really, literally trying to go back into my shell. <laughs> but here I am, I'm showing up. <laughs> Erin saying I'm starting a mom vlog and I hate that my ex-husband could watch. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. We can do some work on that. Um, inside my Facebook group, there is a cord cutting meditation. If you join, I, I'll, I put the, the link somewhere in the comments. You can download the, the meditation for free. It's a very quick meditation that's, that, that can help us release the, the attachment cords from people and situations from our past. So you can you can do that, okay? All right, well, I sure can talk, can I? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, today's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna do a, an exercise to, to take a quantum leap, to go into this vision, this person that you're trying to become, okay? And so we're gonna, as usual, if you're new here, get ready to be triggered. <laughs> that is my job. And then towards the end, we're gonna do an energy clearing, okay? Uh, Sandy saying yes, because we have cut people out and stayed hidden. We have prevented ourselves from moving forward. Hence why we don't do public things. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We, I lost my thought, thank God. We don't learn how to show up as ourselves and be accepted, right? We're always, <laughs> we're always trying to fit in, to, right? Our unique abilities are very rarely acknowledged and accepted, right? I've been talking about this before in other Facebook lives, but yeah. Roy is saying, got no problem doing sessions in person with clients, but on Facebook or lives with a lot of people have fear of, embar or, or embar of embarrassment or criticism. Hmm. Roy is also a theta healer. We did, which course did we do together? Don't remember. Disease and disorders? I don't know. But yeah. Hmm. Healers especially, we carry so much. <laughs> yeah, so fun. <laughs> yeah. We carry a lot of traumas from other lifetimes, from the collective consciousness, right? Yeah. Debbie's saying, tissues are ready. <laughs> yeah. You've been following me since the beginning of my Facebook Live, so you know me. <laughs> yeah. Tears are healing people, so it's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy's saying, yes, I better get mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Everybody ready? Um, so everything I do, 99% of what I do is based on the Theta Healing Technique. So we, oh, intuitive not to me, Roy. Okay, cool. Huh, wow. Yeah, it was a good course. Anyway, um, back. So everything I do is based, most of what I do is based on the Theta Healing Technique. So 
I'm gonna guide you on this meditation, which is the base of the technique, so we can connect to this energy of creation, this energy of unconditional love. Okay? Ready? Get ready. Get comfy. <clears throat> And let's do it. <clears throat> okay, take a deep breath in. Start noticing your breath. Notice your body. Notice the air around you. Notice the sounds. And notice your heart. Just bring your awareness <clears throat> to your heart. Start breathing into your heart. And this energy of your heart is going to start to expand, expand throughout your whole body. Expanding, expanding to every cell of your body. Keep breathing and this energy starts expanding out of your body through your pores. Expand, expand, expand. You're going to start feeling like you and the room that you're in are one. It's like you're sharing space and sharing molecules with the whole room, with everything in it. And keep expanding, expanding, expanding. You're gonna start feeling like you and the whole country you're in are one. Keep expanding, expanding. And further, you and the whole country are one. We are all connected. Good. And keep extending further into the atmosphere, into the stars, the planets, the galaxies. Go further and further. Keep expanding your energy, encompassing everything there is. Keep expanding further now into the universe. You're going to start reaching a series of lights. Expand into those lights. There's layers and layers of lights. Keep going, expanding, expanding. Use your breath. Good. You're going to keep expanding. You're going to reach a golden light. This is the realm of the Ascended Masters and the Angels. Keep expanding into this light. It's very comfy because this is the birth of your soul. It's the place that you are born, that you were born. It feels like home. Keep expanding into this golden light. Expand further and further. You are one with the angels and the ascended masters. Expand further now into a jelly-like substance with all the colors. These are the laws of our universe. There's many laws. <clears throat> the law of gravity, law of connection, law of attraction, law of cause and effect, law of electricity, many, many laws go into this energy. Good. Keep expanding into it. You're going to reach a pink mist, which is the law of compassion. And it's through the law of compassion that we can expand into the energy of creation, the bright, iridescent white light. Expand into this light. Good. This is what we call in Theta Healing the seventh plane of existence. God, Creator, Universal energy, universal intelligence. Oh, good. 
This is the energy of unconditional love that created everything and everyone. You are this energy. Take a moment to notice how it feels like to be there. Just trust whatever comes. Relax, don't try to control it. You may see visions in your mind's eyes. You may hear. You may just feel it in your body. You may just know. Just trust that however it comes to you, this energy of unconditional love. And from this place, we can do everything. We can make changes, we can access information. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna ask this energy to connect us with the future self that we are going to be. That person that we will be, experience, will be experiencing our vision. So if you want to help people with their mindset, imagine how it feels like, how it's going to be like in the future, how this person is going to be living this life. Whatever it is your vision, your desire, really allow yourself to connect with your deepest desire. And allow the future version of yourself that is already living it. Come. You can see this person in front of you or you can become this person and start seeing life around you from this perspective of this future self. If it feels too foreigner, foreign for you, you can also watch it as a movie. You can imagine that you're in a movie theater and you're watching a movie of your future life, your, your future self. Just allow it to come. Mm -hmm. Again, if you don't see it, it's okay. You can also witness this through your other senses, your other psychic senses. You can hear things, you can just feel things in your body, you can know whatever it is, you can taste, just trust what comes for you. So we're going to ask questions to this future self. If you're talking to your future self, you can ask questions directly. If you're experiencing this future as this future self, you can simply experience the, the, the answers to those questions, okay? So, what are the feelings? that this version of you is experiencing? How does she or he feel on a daily basis? What is her day like? What is his day like? How do they wake up? Feeling excited, feeling what? What are the main feelings? Just allow the answer to come. You can write them down if you want. Or just make a mental note. What are the thoughts that come to their minds? What do they think of? About themselves? About their lives? What do they believe? Again, 
about themselves, about life, about what is possible. What are they what are their habits that support this life, this desire, this dream? Okay. What did this version of you, this future version of you, had to have to heal and change to get there? I repeat. What did this version of you, this future version of you, have to change and heal to create this life, to create this dream, to live this? What lessons do they have to learn? Both positive and negative. How is this you, this version of you, different than you? How is this version of you different than you now? What is it? And how is she or he the same? What qualities, what skills, what traits do you already have right now that this version of you just leveraged, just used in order to achieve this life, to do this, to live this dream? Maybe it's very obvious, or maybe it's something that you're taking for granted. Just allow the answer to come. Okay, final question. If you had this version of yourself, this future version of yourself, give you an advice, any advice about what is your next step into becoming this version of yourself, what would it be? Uh, 
I'll give you a few more seconds if you want to ask any more questions or just experience it for a little bit longer. Oh, okay, one more question. What did you have to give up in order to become this person? What did you have to give up? Okay, when you're ready, you can thank this version of yourself for showing up, connect back into that energy, that bright light. Uh -huh. Allow this white light to shower over you. You can imagine a waterfall of unconditional love if you want. All over you, your body, down to your feet. You're going to imagine energy coming from the core of the earth to the soles of your feet, grounding you all the way up to the top of your head. And when you're ready, you can come back and open your eyes. <laughs> and now I want to know <laughs> why did you find out what is this version of yourself the future version of yourself that is leaving your dream what are their beliefs their feelings their thoughts what are they doing? What do they have to abandon and give up? What do they take advantage that you already have? Let me know. Let me know your insights. I always love to know. Something that made me laugh about my future version. <laughs> she said that I really need to stop being cheap <laughs> and that I need to start living abundantly. <laughs> so yes, <laughs> I gotta do that right now. <laughs> what else did I write, write down? Um, my future version also um, sees everything like everything's fun like oh, I've got this it's fun but it's fun <laughs> so it's not not taking everything seriously that's not it it's a different energy it's just simply having fun because that's the opposite of what I usually do like I take everything too seriously you know I put this immense amount of pressure onto myself you know and then I overwhelm myself and then I overthink Right? I think we've all been there. <laughs> Marcella is saying, I have to start believing in myself more than my limitations. That my limitations are self-imposed, I can let them go. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Very good. <clears throat> is there like a specific limitation that you already are aware that you need to let go of. <clears throat> Sandy saying, she said I didn't have to give up anything because I have it all. Ooh, yes. Except I need to let go of being angry at myself. Ooh, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Ava saying, my vision of future self, an empowered person who ra radiates unconditional love and light and keep inspiring others. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. 
where I say my ability to communicate and feel is what will carry over. Oh, cool. That's amazing. Yes. You're, you're very friendly. You're very easy to connect. Absolutely. Yes, that's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? What else? What else? Um, what do they have that are, that is different than what you are or have now? Jen saying I need to have time to connect with my soul. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let me know like, why do you feel like you don't have time, and what what do you think would help you connect with your soul? Lee saying. Uh, I was a children's author. I didn't see that coming. Oh, yes. You work with children. That's so cool. Uh, doing a show with kids around me. I'm reading my book and hugging kids. This is in a different country. I'm also an artist with a solo show surrounded by people who believe in my art ability. I told myself what to let go, but I can't even write what I said that was. Yikes. I know I need to let it go, but it's a fundamental change. Good. You don't have to share, it's fine. If you're aware, it's good. We're gonna clear it, hopefully, afterwards. Um, Diddy is saying, my future self is confident and peaceful. I need to let go of worrying about every action. Mm, I know the feeling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You know, worry is something it becomes kind of like a coping mechanism you know and i say this because i have it <laughs> oh yeah god um sometimes it's easier to put my effort my energy into worrying than it is to actually acknowledge reality so yeah it's a coping mechanism uh, Lee saying, I'm very confident, light, happy, giving calm at peace, worry-free. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what beliefs, like what are the beliefs that this future version of yourself have about yourself that are different than the ones that you hold right now? Lee saying, I brought my future be self back with me, tucked me into my heart, and I'm going to listen to future me. You're so ahead. <laughs> good. <laughs> We're going to do that later as well, but <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yeah. And this exercise you can always do for like very specific things. The thing is, the truth of the universe is time Time is an illusion, so we can always step into the future, into it, yeah, and bring it back to us, exactly how Elise, how Elise did, right? Um, Debbie saying future self is happy, confident, and secure. Was told I just have to be me. Mm -hmm. um, what part of being you have you not been? Doesn't make sense. <laughs> what have you been neglecting about being you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who else wants to share them before we do? Are clearing. Listen, future me told me the same thing I've heard so many times. Anyone can do this. Then she said, "That means me. I am anyone." <laughs> um. Be careful with this, though, because what I'm hearing is by saying, oh, anyone can do it, and if you're not being able to do it, you're going to put yourself in a place of like, mm, anyone can do it, and I cannot do it, so there must be something wrong with me. 
Does it make sense? So it's like anyone can do it. Mm, I can do it because I want to do it. If anyone can do it, it doesn't matter. It's not my problem, but I can do it. Yeah? Jen's saying I need to master my emotions. Okay. Um, more than mastering our emotions, I would say you have to allow your emotions. Because mastering, sometimes it feels like we need to control them, right? And by controlling them, we need maybe we can um, confuse it with suppressing it or ignoring it. Does it make sense? <sighs> this thing I haven't played. What do you mean? Sandy saying neglecting my desires and worth. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's time to embrace your desires. And know that if you want something, you can have it. Yeah? He's saying thanks, that's good advice, I'm glad. Yeah. Okay. A few more seconds to see if you, anyone else wants to say anything, and then we, we do our clearing. Jen saying, in other words, not to take it out on others when I feel frustrated. Hmm. You know, sometimes when we do those things, like we are, we get angry at other people, it's a way of not feeling powerless, right? So instead of like trying to control this, this anger or whatever it is that, that you 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 used to take out on other people, you need to really sit with your feeling of being powerless and really connect to this and see where it comes from, okay? Because then slowly we start understanding that things are not personal. You know, what happens outside, like it's not, we don't have to take things personally, but we also at the same time, we know what in us is getting triggered and what in us needs to be healed. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll go a little bit in that as well. And be powerless. Okay. Let's do our clearing. So, everything I do, I need your permission. So, everything I, I'm going to change, I'm going to connect and see what needs to be changed. But I need your permission. So, everything I say, I need you to say yes. You don't have to write on the chat, keep connected. But say yes out loud. I obviously won't hear it, but the creator will. The universe will, and the changes will be made. Again, if you're watching this on the replay, everything is going to be changed in the same way, okay? You're, ta you're tapping into the vortex that we're creating, yeah? Jen saying, I don't like showing my vulnerabilities. Uh-huh, I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. Most people have taken advantage. So that's the point of traumas that we need to work on, okay? Yeah, because the thing is, if we're not vulnerable, we're not real. And if we're not real, we're always going to be recreating the same patterns and putting our half authentic selves out there when we want to create something. And then we're always going to be criticized because we're not actually putting ourselves out there. It doesn't make sense. So we need to really clear those traumas, those patterns within us that created this belief that you cannot be vulnerable, that vulnerability is a weakness, right? They need to hide your emotions. They need to toughen up. Mm -hmm. You've been betrayed by close ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the thing is, we always have a choice. 
we have the choice to keep poisoning ourselves with the, re the resentment from the past or we can choose to forgive and forgiving is not forgetting forgiving is understanding the lessons always the lessons right so if you go into this future self of yours what are the lessons that you had to learn to become those that that person that successful person i guarantee forgiveness is one of them <laughs> right for all of us <laughs> And then the thing is, when we don't allow ourselves to forgive, it's like we're, my mom used to say that, <laughs> it's like we're taking the poison, expecting the other person to die. Not really effective, is it? <laughs> yeah, so, again, we have the choice. We always have the choice. We have the choice to see those situations as something that is uh, happening because you're not good enough, because there's something wrong with you, because, you know, like all these beliefs that we have about ourselves. And again, like everything's unconscious, okay? Like go back into the, the first day of my challenge that I really explained this, this concept. Everything is unconscious. So, it's, but it's not because it's unconscious that it's not gonna affect our lives. Quite the contrary, it's always affecting right so we need to really go into the unconscious beliefs that we have and clear the lessons understand the lessons be aware understand fully so we can integrate those things into our being and move on because otherwise if we don't do this we're going to still keep repeating the same situations over and over again until we heal it that's how the law of attraction works we're always attracting that of what we are emitting the vibration that we're sending out there yeah did you think being vulnerable has hurt me numerous times oh yeah I am sure I am sure mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna stop myself there let's let's do some healing okay before I go too crazy <laughs> let's work on that I want you to close your eyes. Good, Jen. Jen saying yes, agree. I won't allow these emotions to hinder my progress. Good. Very good. Okay, so let's close our eyes. <clears throat> I'm gonna connect, tune in to the energy of the group everybody watching live and everybody watching the replay and everything that i do again i need your permission if you don't want it you're not going to receive it you have free will okay so just close your eyes really connect to your heart really feel it And I want you to connect, allow the energy of the universe to show you the point of trauma that is most affecting your capacity, your ability to become this version of yourself that will create the life that you desire. Whatever it is for you. Can start feeling a feeling just allow this feeling to take you there again you can watch it from like an observer perspective or you can feel it if you're comfortable with it you don't have to relive it but we can access it so we can heal heal it okay so if you're uh, if you're afraid of being vulnerable because you've been vulnerable before and it, it hurts you go into the real feeling there like what happened but 
allow the creator to show you the first point of trauma. Remember, the issue is never the issue. So what is the real issue? That is unconscious. So just breathe and allow this universal intelligence to show you. Some of you grew up um, in a family that feelings were seen as something to be avoided at all costs. So think back, like go back, not think, just allow. <laughs> allow creator to take you back into the point of trauma that is going to release the most. That created the beliefs about yourself that you're carrying with you, that are preventing you from living the life you want. What beliefs did you create about yourself from those situations? What did you start believing? A lot of you are carrying the belief that there's something wrong with you. Because what happens is, you grew up in a family that valued different things, that acknowledged and validated different things. So you couldn't be, you couldn't live up to their expectations. And you started taking personally. You started thinking, oh, there's something wrong with me. What am I doing wrong? And you started creating this shame. So when did you start believing there was something wrong with you? Some of you are carrying even deeper beliefs that you should not have been born. If this triggers you, just allow Creator to show you where it comes from. Some of you comes from even before you were born, from the womb. You can go back to the, the first day of my challenge. I did a womb healing. It can help with that as well. Some of you is from childhood, some of you is genetic. Uh -huh. If you're carrying beliefs, genetic beliefs, okay, let me, let me connect into that to see exactly which ones we need to clear. Oh, okay, there's a very heavy one. Um, some of you are carrying this, this belief that your life and the life of your family depends on you being strong and tough. So it's like you didn't have time to cry. Imagine like generations ago. They needed to work on the farm or whatever in order to survive. They really, really, literally did not have time to feel things. Yeah, so if that's your case, just allow the Creator to teach you that this is over. Okay, before we do that, there are some lessons there that we need to be aware. So what have your ancestors learned from this, from this belief? A lot of you, I'm hearing that you learned how, that you are strong, like you learned how to acknowledge your strength. How strong you are. But can we teach you how to acknowledge your strength without minimizing your feelings? Can we release the belief that being strong means feeling nothing? Oh, that's bad. Let it go. Can we release the belief that the less you feel, the better. The less you feel, the more successful, happy, or whatever. Fill the blank for you. Just release it. Okay. 
you may just complete these lifetimes release your ancestors of having this hold on to hold on you like this control over you mm -hmm. okay it's like you could not show weakness right so can we teach you that this is over you're not weak can we release the belief that you the belief that you're weak in any way in form that comes with you to you for some of you it's like if you show your emotions it means you're weak if you are ah, some of you have this belief that um if you have a desire a dream it's a weakness so can you just clear this and show you that you can and you're free to desire to have dreams and to work towards those things. Can you release this responsibility that you feel towards your family and your ancestors? It's like you're carrying all their weight with you. You know, and that's very common amongst healers and coaches and people that want to change the world <laughs> as we do. We feel like we need to save everybody. We need to change everybody's lives but the thing is everybody has free will everybody your job is to inspire only whatever happens after that is not your responsibility okay can we clear from your dna and your auric field there's like a lot of past lives where you were a bit reckless if i'm being honest and you took like you misused your powers and it created some messes, <laughs> some catastrophes there. <laughs> so in any way that you're punishing yourself for past lives, genetic, your ancestors, your kids, whoever it is, in any way they're holding on to this belief that you need to be punished, can we just release that please? Enough is enough. Oh, there's some vows of revenge. Okay, let's see. Okay, from a lot of lifetimes as well and ancestral, all the times that you showed yourself in this lifetime as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all the times that you showed yourself that you were vulnerable and honest and authentic and you were humiliated, betrayed, taken advantage of, can we first of all release the trauma that is carried within your body? And it's like when those things happen, sometimes we have this thought of like, mm, I will show you, like I will get my revenge. And it's, it becomes kind of like unconscious. So if you're carrying this energy of revenge, it's a very heavy energy. Can we please release it? Thank you. Oh, can we release the belief that I'm gonna show you, like I'm gonna show you the person that you know that, that hurt you, that didn't believe in you. I'm gonna show you, because it comes from a place of lack. It's, it comes from a place of powerless energy. You don't have to show anything to anyone. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Okay, this happens because we don't really believe and trust in ourselves. When we do. We don't have to prove anything to anyone. So can we teach you this is over? Yes. And can we also show you the lessons you've learned from holding on to these resentments, vows of revenge, this energy to fight for things, to prove things, to take responsibility. Just allow this energy of unconditional love, this universal intelligence, to show you the lessons that you learned. What did you learn? What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn about your purpose? What did you learn about your soul? Your virtues that your soul came here to learn, to master. Allow this energy to come the way it comes. Might be a whisper, 
maybe an image in your mind's eye, maybe a knowing, maybe a feeling, just trust it. Use your breath. Mm -hmm. Okay, in any way that you're holding on to this belief and this feeling of being powerless in order to avoid taking responsibility for your life and therefore you're not actually showing up for life, can we release this? In any way that you're playing small, can we just release this? Enough playing small. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So I feel like some of you, um, there's like a lot of hooks of energy on you from the past. So in any way that you're allowing people from your past to suck you dry, to take your energy, can you just release these hooks, please? Some of your, it, your, like your energy is like, no, but it's so comfy like this. Then I can blame them. I don't have to blame myself. Can we teach you the difference between blaming yourself and taking responsibility? Taking responsibility is not blaming. Okay? Taking responsibility is knowing that you are the creator and that you have the power to change things. Yeah. In any way that you are still allowing your power to leak because you don't trust your, your power and you don't trust yourself to, to use your power. Can you just clear that? Bring your power back. Okay, in any way that like, you, you associated power and manipulation just allow the energy of creation to release it. It comes from a lot. There's past lives, there's genetic, and there's this lifetime as well. When you witness those things happening, people using their power as a way to control and manipulate. Some of you is even your parents. And that made you feel very small, very insignificant, powerless. To allow this energy to be released from your body, from your energy. You're not there anymore. You're not a small child, a helpless child anymore. <sighs> okay, that's heavy. All right, let it go. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of you feel like you, your childhood was stolen. In any way that it happened to you, just allow Creator to show you where, it, where, it ha where, 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 like what happened, when it happened, where in your body this is stored, where in time this was stored. Maybe it was a sort of abuse or a series of things, of tiny things that happened over time that took your childhood, childhood away from you. Some of you had to grow up very fast to take care of other people. Okay. So it's like your whole identity got intertwined with this idea that your only purpose is to take care of other people. Yeah. So without this, you don't know who you are. So can we teach you how it feels like to take care of yourself for once, finally, that you're free. Okay, this, is, this does not mean that you're going to abandon your children. That's some of your fears. <laughs> no, it's just releasing this energy that this is the only purpose you have, taking care of other people, sacrificing yourself. In any way that you're holding on to this idea that you need to sacrifice yourself, that this is your identity, just allow Creator to show you how to change this. This is going to be different for everybody. So just... Allow it to happen. So for some of you, this is happening like in the genetic level. Like I can see like your DNA kind of like releasing stuff. 
kind of recreating itself. Just let it happen. That's cool. You know, just clear the remaining beliefs that you're powerless, you're nothing, you're a mistake. You shouldn't be here. There's no point in living. All those things. Just allow our creator to show you a different way of living. Based on the purity of a child. Just rescue this within you. Use the things that you know now, that you've learned. To rescue anything that needs to be rescued within you. Your dreams, your belief, your self-belief, whatever it is, any feeling that you need to be res that need to be rescued. Mm -hmm. Can I just teach you any remaining lessons that you need to know, that you need to be aware of? Because that's the key, one of the keys of healing. You need to be aware of the lessons. Otherwise, we're just going to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over again. <laughs> so what lessons have you learned from not being true to yourself, not showing up? Allowing those past traumas to take control over you, to control you, to just dominate your energy. What else did you learn? A lot of you learned compassion, and that's amazing. But can we release the need to learn compassion through, through suffering? That you can, you know how to be compassionate without having to create you know, situations of abuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. What else did you learn? What virtues did you learn? Some, it's kind of interesting how the universe works. Um, the universe is based in duality, right? So we go through one extreme to understand the other. So for those of you that said, like, oh, I cannot be vulnerable. Vulnerability is, you know, like, no, it's a no-no for me. What is on the other side that you've been trying to, to know, to learn? What is it for you? Some of you, I feel, is collaboration for some reason. You learned how to be, um, you were isolated to learn how to collaborate. It's like the extremes. You know how it feels like to be alone. You know how it feels like to be rejected, separated. You know how it feels like. Now you have the chance to turn it into the opposite. Knowing how to feel connected, how to create connections. How to nurture other people by being who you are. If you want this, say yes and you're going to receive these downloads, these energies. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can we clear this idea that everything that happens to you is a sentence? It's like, oh, this happened, like this person betrayed me, it's because I'm worth, you know, like I deserve to be betrayed. That's a sentence, like that's it. No changing. Yeah? So can we change this into the understanding that you can see the other side, the positive, the lesson. And also, some of you really, really, really need to learn how to set your boundaries. I talked about this last week, so you can watch the replay. 
on how to set boundaries, healthy boundaries. Mm -hmm. Releasing this idea that you need to be a good girl, a good boy, complying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Allow this energy of unconditional love to shower over you. You can imagine a waterfall of love releasing from every single cell of your body all the resentment, the remorse, the regret, the anger, the sadness, all the vows and promises that you made to yourself and other people of unhappiness, of poverty. Let's just change it all. And once again, imagine energy coming from the core of the earth, the soles of your feet, all the way up to the top of your head, grounding you and bringing you back. And when you're ready, come back and, and open your eyes. Whew. How is everybody? Let me know how, how you're feeling. And let me know if you feel more like your future self or if anything else needs to be done. Maybe this is like a two-part series that I need to do. I don't know. It feels like it's a lot. <laughs> Let me know. <sighs> okay, let's um let's make sure. Close your eyes and imagine that future self of yours again. Just for a second, just notice if there is any change in your energy, if you feel any close to it. Some of you can feel like it's already integrating naturally. Just allow it. Some of you still have some blocks. Just be aware of the blocks. And just let me know how you feel. Okay, you can come back. Jen is saying, I opened my eyes and had my dog staring back at me. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. <laughs> oh, yeah. So cool. They they're so sensitive. They're like they're very psychic. Dogs and cats, especially. Yeah. <laughs> they feel when things are happening. I can talk about animals on another live but you can also do healings on animals that's a very cool course that i teach uh emma saying i'll be checking out that other live you mentioned good yeah do it cool debbie saying that was powerful lots of tears realized head and he responded oh that's cool wow you're really you're really opening up your, your intuitive centers aren't you yay i'm glad very cool. Very good. Please say, oh, you spoke directly to three specific things I journaled about this morning. <laughs> I shouted yes. I usually just whisper, say yes. I feel lighter and open and effervescent. Oh, I love this word. A very good energy healing. I'm so glad. Effervescent. I want to feel effervescent. That's so cool. <laughs> Debbie saying that each session her dog also comes to it next to her. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yeah. Jen saying every time I work out, I am my future self. Amazing. That's cool. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, wow, I'm like, where am I? <laughs> okay, so, what I need to tell you. Again, you can do this again and again, okay? Uh, to see, like, what else your future self can tell you. It's a very cool exercise. And... Yeah, let me know like throughout the week because I feel some stuff are gonna come up. So if there's anything specific that comes up, let me know and we work on this next week. Or if you feel like you need like private guidance, let me know and we can book a session. Okay, we can go really deep into a, a private session. Uh, wait. Jen saying. I already have what I want when I close my eyes. Yes, and that's a very good thing, like just to visualize it and feel those things and becoming this point of attraction, you know, creating this feeling. You can, um, on the third day of my challenge next, last week, I talked about manifestation. You can go back and rewatch it. I'm not sure if you did. Uh, and you can keep becoming this point of attraction. You need to feel the feeling before you have it become what you want to create before you create it yeah sandy is saying yes today's healing resonated with what i turned out today and along with the archangel amazing wow <laughs> yeah we are all connected for sure lee saying i'm glad to hear about the pets my canary hasn't sang for a few days and he hasn't stopped through the session oh, i love it <laughs> that's so cool wow Ava saying, feel empowered. I like how you mentioned that our job is not to change people. Yes, absolutely. They have free will to inspire them. Yes, good. Yeah. Jen saying, you have to think bigger than yourself. Yeah. Yes, but not forgetting yourself. You know? We need to remember that we are part of everything. So we don't have to sacrifice ourselves. By fulfilling our desires, we're also fulfilling the universe's desires. Because we are the universe, we're made out of everything, right? We can talk deeper about this in another time, but yeah, that's cool. Jin saying, I feel abundance around me. Yay! Awesome. Sandy synchronicity, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's finish up. Um, again, if you need anything throughout the week, please reach out. Go into my Facebook group, watch the, the other lives as well. You can, I'll leave them there forever, who knows? <laughs> uh, so you can really rewatch it and, and just, you know, really healing is a process, people. Like it doesn't end, sorry, like no, doesn't end. <laughs> I still do that every week <laughs> on myself, you know? So yeah, we, we go back into the same, um, issues and things to understand them deeper and deeper and deeper so that's completely normal but if you need extra guidance please reach out and we can book a session uh, i will also start teaching the healing online very soon so if it's something that you're interested it's gonna be very fun yeah i love teaching the healing it's just ah oh, so cool yeah i'll talk about that more later and i think that is it Yes, thank you so much, everybody that joined. I will see you next week again. So next week, it's also going to be on Tuesday, the 12th, I think. But a little bit later, because I have some trainings that I'm doing. So probably about 7.30 my time. Anyway, just keep posted and, and yeah, check the, the, the events, okay? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you are in the world. And I see you soon. Bye.